How's it going, everybody? This is Mario here. I'm going to be wasting a lot of my time today. Today, I'm going to be reading a story I made called Yaz Steve or the TCFIB Cleric the Capture of Movie Novel. Chapter 1 Against the Chaos. Once upon a time, there was a girl named Yazzy. She was best known for roasting people wherever she goes, making a fan favorite to you and me. One day, she and other females were captured by Cleric an evil mastermind who was best known for wanting to take over the world. It all started on one cold morning. I remember Cleric in his lair wondering how he can destroy the world. I have an idea that will so trigger everyone. I will capture women, said Cleric. You sure you won't fuck them? said Lucifer. I'll just capture them, said Cleric. So later that day, while everyone was looking, Cleric quietly grabbed the woman and tossed them in the recycle bin. Moments later, the boys and I took quick note of Mary, where the pizza are you? Mike yelled out. What's wrong, Mike? I asked. You seem upset. Mike looked at me and said, I can't find Mary. I didn't know what the pizza Mike was talking about. I thought Mary was playing hide and seek. My sister's missing too, said Steve. So is my wife, my best friend Zachman said. Oh, the humanity. His faint cry made me wonder what to do. I tried to call the Powerpuffs, but they were missing too. Every girl in TCFIB and WBPIB had gone missing. We wonder who did it. Later that day, Steve gave his father Zachman a note. It described how unproductive I was with WBPIB and that I should stop it. Same with TCFIB and how Zachman should end it all. No man would ever cancel their shows for anything. As you can see, there's poor, poor grammar. Not the, not the best grammar here. Like, that's not the correct spelling for here. No, no man would ever cancel their shows for anything. I was so angry to the point I yelled out, who in the world would insult my show like that? After noticing the lols at the end of every funny statement, I immediately began to realize that it was Claret. No one else would say lol at dumb crap like that. Not even me. No way, no how. The note even said to take a long and tedious trip far from Earth. Legend has it that we would have to leave the Milky Way. If they aren't on this planet, then where could they be, I wondered. Zachman told me that they were at the recycle bin. I wondered how to get there. Zachman pointed out to me that there was an audience watching and that we would have to break the fourth wall. We were in a little window that took us outside a program called Windows Movie Maker, which is Zachman's editing software. Are you sure this is a good idea? I asked Zachman. Absolutely, Zachman said. I've been here dozens of times off the air and, not, and I have not caught breaking the fourth wall once. We jumped out of Movie Maker along with the others. Steve asked Zachman where the recycle bin was. Zachman pointed up. Well, Zachman pointed up. Right there, right above the right above Microsoft Edge, he said. Do you use Edge, Zach? I asked him. No, I don't, he said. He then showed me his 900 gigabyte hard drive of only 100 left. It was so shocking, I uttered out my famous catchphrase. Damn! Zachman then told me, I did remove some old stuff I don't use when the number was much lower than that. I thought Zachman was doing a great job removing stuff. He then explained to me that he does more than TCFIB, something I already knew. Have you seen his strange videos and gaming videos? Figures. Zack is a big fan of Thomas the Tank Engine. Oftentimes I wonder why and what made him be such a fan. Just before we were about to go to the trash can, I reintroduced everybody to my Powerpuff powers. Wait! I yelled before he got in. What is it? Mike asked. I don't think I could do this with my normal clothes, I said. What are you going to do? Ray Slippick said. I smirked. I pulled out my power compact. You're going to transform, Scotty said. Don't ask questions, I said. I transformed into the orange Powerpuff boy. We flew down inside. How, you may ask? I grabbed everyone so they don't hit themselves when they hit the floor and die. I then ordered everybody to get down. I was horrified. Hold the Vitaphone. What happened here? I asked. I'll spare you the extremeness of this catastrophe, but the term tied and gagged would be the most fitting statement, Zach Matt said, pointing at the captured woman. I actually thought Cleric assaulted the ladies. Cleric called me Bob Ross. Hey, stop calling me Bob Ross. Just because I have an afro doesn't mean I'm a look like a Bob Ross, I yelled at the clerk's ear. Clerk said that it'll stop when Volcana Ash turns into salt water, which he says will never happen. Or will it? Double lol, Clerk says afterwards. That's not funny, Clerk. At least our female friends now or else we will go Super Saiyan on you, Zack said. I looked Zack in the eyes. I can't go Super Saiyan. I haven't acquired that skill yet. Goku still needs to teach me his ways. Sure, he taught me the Kamehameha, but not how to go Super Saiyan. Clark also threatened to delete the entire universe. I was distraught. I didn't want to die. I distracted Clark by repeatedly dialing his super secret telephone number that I managed to snatch from Clark while he was thirsty for his waifu pillow. 
Yazzie blushed slightly at looking at Steve, already pleading to be let out. Luckily, we managed to free everyone except for Yazzie, who Sam couldn't see for he was blind. Unfortunately, Cleric found us. We had to figure something out. I wanted to beat Cleric up so bad, but I couldn't. We had to focus on the task at hand, freeing Yazzie, but Cleric was on the verge of destroying us from the existence of God's green earth. We had to free her quickly before the trash can was emptied, or else the Zach Man awesome this universe would be demolished. That was chapter one, Penta Chaos. Basically, season five, episode four of TCFIB. Chapter two, see my forehead. Cleric couldn't believe what he was hearing. He even called us a bunch of toenail heads. Immediately, I got triggered. Only Yazzie and I could roast people and not Cleric. Cleric, Cleric, Cleric laid out a terrible roast. Hey, only Yazzie gets to call you a toenail head. I screamed right into Cleric's ear. I've had enough. It was very well near a time for combat. I even agreed with Yazzie for calling Cleric a toenail head. Because that's exactly what he is! <laughs> Fight me right now, Cleric said. Zack ordered us to start roasting Cleric. I actually let it slide this time. I let everyone roast, roast Cleric. We had a blast. Hey Cleric, your ex-wife called. She wants you back, Steve said. Steve knew what he was doing. Cleric then explained that he, had a, that, he, that he had a divorce. He even told us he got a new wife. And it was Volcana Ash the whole time. I did not expect Cleric and Volcana Ash to be married. Not then, not now. What the flatulence? Hold up, hold the by the phone. Cleric, you're married to Volcana Ash? I screamed. And what do you know, he calls me Bob Ross again. Sure, I have an afro, but no beard. Plus, I can't even draw good landscapes. Stop calling me Bob Ross. I literally told you I do not look like a clone of Bob Ross. How many times do I have to explain this to you, I screamed. I hate it being called Bob Ross. I pulled my afro off to reveal my bald head. I even ate it. Everyone was disgusted. My hair grew back instantly. Since when? I asked when told that Clerk and Volcana got married. Shortly after Dub... Let me see. Since WBPIB's latent system, shortly after I secretly rescued Cleric from the 20th century jail of ZR land, our chairman wasn't home, so I took him to see Lucifer. Seeing us off Cleric as evil as he already is, you Lucretia Lem joined our evil dark side, Volcana explained. That was an R that was a sub that was a whoosh subreddit moment right there. Volcana even guessed that she shouldn't have married Cleric because there are different types of creatures and that they should not have dated in the first place. Suddenly, Lucifer and Lucretia showed up. And they kept calling me Bob Ross. I threatened to karate kick their faces off and they called me Bob Ross one more time. And I mean, one more time. Yazzie was still trapped. She was begging to get out. She kept pounding the cage, hoping to get it open. Meanwhile, Lucifer and Lucretia summoned their minions. First was the army of Fox logos. I even said it was pathetic. It was lame, but the next thing to show up was an army of minions. Lucifer! Lucretia! Volcana! Sam, Scotty, and I went on the screaming spree. But then Lucifer summoned Zarek. Why, 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 why him of all people? Don't you get it, lunatics? I live here now. Ever since my defeat and God knows how long, I have gotten evicted from my house since I forgot to pay my rent. Now I moved out, and, I'm not, and I have moved inside of this lovely recycle bin. And I've been here ever since that horrible eviction day. Now I've come for my revenge. Look what I found at the dumpster near your studio, Zach, he explained. I hope, it was an, I hope it was an old television, but no. It was my biggest fear, my worst nightmare. The Satan of all Nickelodeon logos. The Nickelodeon light bulb logo from 2008. I was scared to the bit of bone. I screamed loudly. Ah! The scream was so loud it busted Mike's ears open. My ears, said Mike. Mike needed hearing surgery fast. I was, in a way, a partial murderer for that scream. This day has gone chaotic, Steve said. But hey, at least we rescued most of the ladies. Speaking of which, Steve, can you see pitch black? Zach asked. Steve nodded and said he was nocturnal. Steve was set to go to the pitch black corridor to see who the last hostage was. It was Yazzie. Yazzie moaned from the corner. <laughs> Yazzie moaned from the corner. It looks like someone is here, Steve said. Steve, help me, please. Yazzie muffled from the duct tape. God damn it. How could I forget who, whose voice that was? Unless that voice was, oh my goodness, it's Yazzie, Steve realized. Yes, it's me, Steve. I cannot breathe with this today, Bobby. Get me out, please, Yazzie screamed. Don't worry, I've come to rescue you just like the Nintendo mascot did for over 30 years. There Steve went again with those Super Mario references. Suddenly, Cleric showed up behind Steve. The room lit up. Do something, Steve. You see that chair next to my cage? Yazzie asked. Steve wondered about it. Yazzie ordered Steve to throw the chair at Cleric. Unfortunately, Steve missed the shot entirely. Cleric was high on coffee that day and gained Xanax beef. 
Steve, what's going on back there? I yell from the other side. Sam also joined me. Ugh, him again. Sam, Mario, help me out here, please. Yeah, as he said. I said that I would do so, but Steve beat me. However, it was time to fight Cleric. The next thing I did was take off my power puff bed. I then smashed the cage, broke the chains, and took off broke the chains and took off the tape from Yazzie's mouth. Yazzie then wrapped her arms around mine and started to cry. I don't want to go back in there again. Cleric's a monster, she cried. Please don't cry, Yazzie. Cleric is indeed a monster, and we are going to defeat him once again, I exclaimed. The next order of business, I took off my tank top. I was now shirtless. I even took off my transformation belt. I left it in Yazzie's hands. <laughs> Sam doubted. But now that we got so many villains to fight, will we win this time? He asked. Zack pointed out that you shouldn't always be negative about the future. Slapping my bare chest, I was determined to fight. I slip off my gloves and attach my logo to my shorts. I roll up my boots. <clears throat> Thus completes the transformation into my wrestling attire. I was going to wrestle Cleric to the floor. I flexed. Cleric started a one-hour timer. Yazzie thought that she was going to be, to be put back in the cage. Please don't put me back in there, you, you toenail head, Yazzie proclaimed. Steve blushed, thinking of how Yazzie is going to fight. Cleric then called Yazzie a toenail head. Cleric, how dare you call me a toenail head? I'm still crying as it is, and you're just making my emotions become more uncontrollable. That's it. I'm going to start throwing chairs at you, Yazzie yelled. She began rapidly throwing chairs. The normal doors were locked. We had, we had to find our own way out. If we didn't do it within one hour, the world would be destroyed. I was determined to fight. I found my wife, Blossom, trying to open a door. Honey, you're here too, I asked. Yes, now help me, said my wife. Honey, that's not going to work. Cleric already told us that the exits are locked up. We must find a way out. Zack decided to teleport to the other room. He pulled out the Phantom Ruby. Huh? Where'd you get that from? I asked. I visited Angel Island located southwest of California, Zack explained. There's a real Angel Island? Mind blown, I shouted. Did you meet Knuckles the Echidna while you were there? Did he tell you that way out? I joked. We teleported to another room. We told everyone the good news that we rescued Yazzie and the bad news that we had to escape. I used up all my muscle weight to attempt to open the door back there and now my hands hurt. I won't be able to do anything for at least 30 minutes. Why am I such an idiot, Yazzie? Yazzie said. I told Yaz that Cleric was the idiot. We had to make a sacrifice to get out at this point. If we make it out, Steve, um, Yazzie was nervous to say something. She blushed and giggled. Can we go out to dinner tonight? Yazzie asked Steve. Sure, Yazzie, Steve said. And here comes the Yazzie ex Steve ship. I ship it. Chapter 3 Pure Existence. <clears throat> this is what I think might happen in. In, ch in the in the pure existence episode. Now we had to make a sacrifice. All right, team. Zachman asked. All right, team. Zachman said we will have to risk someone's life to get out of this trash can. Who will it be? He asked. We all looked at each other. You're gonna have to do something. There's ten minutes left, said Cleric. How about Sam? Said Yazzie. Well then, let it be, said Zach. This is gonna be so good, said Cleric. Don't do this to me, said Sam. I realized that something had to be done. I had to risk it all. No, I say. I'll find a way out for you. Everyone gasped. I ran straight towards Cleric. Don't do this, Mario, Zack said. We don't want to lose you, said Ray Slipix. If you do this, you'll regret it for the, of, for the rest of your life, Yazzie screamed. Cleric was laughing at everyone struggling to escape. Until I sprung up to Cleric and slammed him to the floor. Ow, Cleric exclaimed. I grabbed the timer. Don't smash my timer, said Cleric. I held the timer up high and broke it in half of my knees. No, said Cleric. There was a screen somewhere. Timer stop, it said once it was smashed. Did you just stop the timer? Blossom said to me. You got that right, honey. I'm doing this for you, I said. I then saw the key to the doors. I picked it up. What the hell are you doing, Mike asked. Something I should have done a long time ago, I said. I held the key up above my head. It began to shine. By the power of Neptune, I command the doors in this recycle but to be unlocked, I commanded. The key shined brighter and brighter, and then there was an explosion. The doors were open, but first I grabbed Cleric's foot and put him in the ankle lock. Tap, damn it, I yelled. Cleric tried to find his way out, but then the pressure was too much. His leg broke in half. Cleric tapped out. I let him go. I beat my chest and transformed it. I beated my chest and transformed it back into my regular clothes. That was amazing, Kayleen said. All natural body power, yes, he said. You bet, I said. I wanted to give Clark the middle finger, but Zack stopped me. Don't, Zack man said. Okay, I said with a derpy, scared face. I went through one of the doors. Everyone followed. And now, Clark, you shall be deleted, I yelled. Delete, I said multiple times as if I was Eva Hardy Boy. Everyone joined in. 
You know, I'm probably just gonna do delete chance for like a few for like 30 seconds. Delete! 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 Okay, maybe 30 seconds is kinda good will kinda be annoying. I didn't empty the recycle bin. Cleric was gone. Cleric was history. So was all the other enemies. I made a sacrifice. It all paid off in the end. I did it, Mario said. I, I mean, I did it, I said. I saved the world. Everyone applauded my work. So, Steve, um, Yazzie still fe felt nervous. She blushed. Do you like me? She asked. Of course I do, Yazzie. You're the fan favoring these bloopers, Steve said. Well, let's continue off the bloopers while we still have time, said Mike. But we have no time, Mike. It's 6.30 p.m. We should go out and have dinner, said Zach. Yazzie and I are going out on a date, Steve said. Where to, I said. Shame on you, Steve shouted. Bullfish, Yazzie said. So I went home with Blossom. Everyone else went home as well. Yazzie and Steve went to shame on you. And so once again, the day is saved. Thanks to Zack Hero. Meanwhile, Cleric was in the middle of nowhere along with the other villains. Why did it all have to end this way, Cleric said. Well, they say all good things must come to an end, said Lucifer. Same goes with bad things, said Lucretia. At least I scared Mario, said the Nickelodeon light bulb. I hate when we have to end our troublemaking this way, said Volcan Ash. Boris, a.k.a. Caillou's dad, came in and said, You all are so grounded, grounded, grounded. Then Zachman said, No, in the distance. We heard that cringe, I said. Oh, Neptune, said Boris. The bad guys had to suffer for the rest of eternity. The end. That was, that was, I felt like I wrote such a beautiful story. I turned, the, I turned those three episodes into a, a movie novelization, even though, the, the other two of the episodes have not been complete yet. Thank you guys for watching. Please like this video, share with your friends, read the story on my quotev, and subscribe for more.